Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop, and today we're going to be wrapping up the series on queries by going through a delete query. So I'm going to hop out of here, go back over to access our database here, and I've got the Table 1 Customers table open. And uh, you'll notice that I do have new IDs for those four uh, companies that were added. I did a little bit of work in the background here and uh, had to re-add them so they've got new ID values in here. So just in case you were wondering. But let's say that I want to delete all four of these customers from my list. Okay, And uh, the way I would do that is I would run a delete query. But before I get into that, you may be wondering, well, what if I just want to delete a single piece of data from that particular table? What if I want to keep the ID but I just want to remove what's in the customer name? Well, unfortunately, you're not going to want to do that in a delete query. You're going to want to do that with an update query. Because in an update query, if I wanted to change hamster wheels ink here to nothing, I could actually use the update and I could say update to and then say blank just by using uh, double quotation marks. That essentially means a blank string. Okay. So um, I'm not going to get into that. If you if you want to learn more about how to do that, you can all be, you can you know do some Google research if you want. Uh, it's not really all that hard if you really think about it. You just do an update query and you change the value to blank instead of something else. Okay. All right. Now, um, so I want to delete these four rows of data, and I know that the ID is 20 through 23. I can use the fact that this is a number to my advantage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new query, go into the Query Designer, and in the past you may have noticed I would exit out of this dialog box and then click on the Delete button. I can actually go ahead and select the Table 1 Customers here uh, right from this dialog and go ahead and add it and then close out of here. That's perfectly fine. Um, and then I can switch over to the Delete uh, to make it a Delete Query. That's perfectly okay. All right, now, when you're doing a delete, like I said, you're going to be deleting entire rows of information. So, since that's what you're going to be doing, if we're only dealing with one table, all I need to do is specify that the, the criteria in which I'm going to be doing my evaluation of which rows to delete. And in here, I need the ID field, because again, remember, we're going to say, all of the IDs that are greater than 19, so basically all the IDs, IDs 20 through 23, okay? So what I can do here then is I can say all of the IDs in Table 1 customers where it is greater than 19 and less than 24, all right? Now that's going to do exactly what it is that we're looking to do. It's going to delete everything 20 through 23. I could also use the greater than or equal to 20. That's perfectly fine. And less than or equal to 23. That would do exactly the same thing. These are regular mathematical expressions that you would find. And the greater sign is obviously means any value, any ID value that is greater than 20 or in our case we want it to be greater than 19 and any value that is less than 24 okay so that's how you do that now you may notice that I have this and keyword here and it's perfectly fine to have this and keyword in your criteria in this particular example but it is perfectly acceptable to do it this way as well and some people prefer to have the organization set up this way Okay. Notice that now I'm essentially doing the same thing. I'm taking the ID field and I'm saying all of the IDs greater than 19 and where ID is less than 24. This is doing exactly the same thing. It's just that I now have two columns involved in my query. You can really do it either way. It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to the developer how they want to arrange it. Um, I've done it both ways. It doesn't make a lick of difference really. Okay, so I want to go ahead and before I run this, I'm just going to throw the customer name field in here. I'm not going to do any sort of criteria on it because all I want to do is when I go to preview this, I want to see what the customer names are. So I'm going to preview it here and I see ID 20, Hamster Wheels, Inc. 
ID 21, hyphenated corp 22, etc. You can see the whole list of the four companies that I would be deleting are listed here just as if I was doing a select query. All right, so let's go back. And now that I know that that's definitely the information I want to delete, I'm going to go ahead and just click run. It says I'm about to delete four rows from the specified table. Are you sure? I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And just like that, folks, we now have those fields deleted and even gives us, since I already had the table open, it even tells us, hey, this information has been deleted. It's not there anymore. And if I want to get rid of that, I just close out of the table and reopen it and voila, those fields are now gone. But let's get a little bit more in depth. Let's, let's say that, hey, you know what? There's this one customer here, hyphenated corp, which I still don't have an address for, right? because customer ID number five is missing from our list. There's no information in our table one addresses. And let's say it's a couple years down the road. We still haven't heard back from them. We still don't have an address for them. And this is really getting to the point where it's ridiculous to even hold that data anymore. Why should we do that? So I'm going to go ahead and delete this bit of criteria first. And I'm going to go ahead and add the table one addresses list here. And notice we get our relationship here where we're saying all of the customers and give us also all the addresses that are equal and wherever, you know, wherever there might be uh, no address for a customer, it's going to be blank. Remember that? Just like in our select query. So here's what I'm going to do. I first need to specify which table am I going to be deleting information from. Okay, remember this is a delete query. The way you do that is you go ahead and select the asterisk first and put that in as your first field. And you'll notice that you get this delete from. Okay, that means that you want to specify this is the table that I will be deleting from. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the customer ID and I'm going to double click. And now you can see the delete says where, which basically is saying I'm using the criteria. I'm using a where criteria where something is something in the customer ID. And I'm going to use the term is, oops, is null. And null is basically saying absent of data. It doesn't mean a blank, you know, a blank string. It doesn't mean nothing is there. It means literally no data. It's bereft of any information. There's nothing there. Okay. So I'm going to say is null. So what I'm essentially saying here is wherever the relationship is, is that I have a customer in my customer list, but we don't have a customer ID for that customer listed in the table one addresses, I want to delete from the table one customers. That's a pretty complex situation, a pretty complex scenario of what it is that I want to do. I hope you've caught on. I hope that makes sense to you. But this is a really key and crucial piece of, of information of something you're going to need to know how to do because uh, targeting your data and making sure you're deleting the right information is very, very important. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view and we can see there's hyphenated corp. That's the only customer that I have in my list that I do not have an address for. All right, now I'm going to go back here. And if I click Run, I'm going to get an error here. It says, could not delete from specified tables. OK, and that's because of a silly little option here that we've got called Unique Records. i got to change this over here to Yes, and that should do it. So I've got my Unique Records here set to Yes. Okay, this is just a little flag that Microsoft has put in to make sure that I'm aware that I'm, I've got unique records in here. I'm really not entirely sure what that's all about. Uh, if you wanted to find out what that particular flag is for, remember you can go ahead and have the cursor in there and then press F1 and we can get ourselves over to the Windows Help, um, which will give us unique records property. So. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that. I guess it has something to do with uh, duplicate records. Anyway, okay, so we know this is a unique, uh, we know this is a unique query. Now, if I go ahead and hit run, it says I'm about to delete one row from the specified table. I click yes, and now, if I go in here, you can see that deleted is there. It's removed that customer from our list. 
All right, I hope that's uh, been informative to you. I hope you've learned something here. As always, you can subscribe to my channel here. Send me a message if you, uh, if you have any questions, and don't forget to like. Thank you very much.